What's up guys? Quick how-to video. We're going to show you how to turn this box with all the crab pot pieces in it into this ready to go crab pot. It's ready to catch some crab. Okay, so let's put this one aside for now. And uh, let's unbox this thing and see what's inside here. Uh, I need to pull off. Where are the scissors? Okay. Let's unbox this bad boy. Now this is a good setup, especially if you're just getting into crab crabbing and you don't really know what you're looking for. This is a good box to uh, start on. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, but this is just basically a, a, a quick bundle of all the things you need to get started on crabbing. So I'll show you what's inside here. If I could get it out here. All right. Don't need that anymore. Let's get started. Put in the bag here. A few bags. Put that out. Put that out. Okay. Need that. So what we got here. This is the actual pot, so this is going to be the bottom, I think, yeah, that's going to be the bottom, and then, is this two? I think we actually have two pots in here, I thought I only got one, okay, well, I guess we got two here, that's cool. So I thought I was only getting one pot, but apparently there's two in here. So let's get this one out of the way. Okay, I've moved over to the living room here because there just wasn't enough room out on the uh, table there. And like I was saying, these are all interlocking pieces. So kind of like a little Lego puzzle here. But basically... These will connect on the sides here. All right, so we're gonna use some pliers here. So those are connected on the bottom here. I'm gonna pinch that down. Okay, that side's good. Now we're gonna do the same thing for all four of these. Okay, all right, so those are in. And those are all pinched down. I don't know if you can see that there, but these things are, are, went around and then I just pinched it down with some pliers. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. Anyway, so those are all pinched down and I'm actually gonna leave these other two, the ones that flap up on the side, I'm gonna leave those um, unpinched down because that way, when well, we're not using it, so they're set, ready to go. When we're not using it, we'll undo it and it can fold up easier for storage. Okay, so we got our pot set up here. Now we gotta attach everything else. So apparently this set comes with two of everything. So we got this thing that was just one. Well, we get two, even better. So there's a float, the rope to attach this to the other rope. So hold on a second. A crab gauge, which you need for measuring a crab and 100 feet of rope and this rope is leaded rope and i'll go over that later but that's important as opposed to regular rope so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up this to the crab pot and so let's pop that out here Need those okay and what this is is just the I don't know what you call this, the cradle. Let's see if it has a name. No name. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna call this. But basically, this is gonna be the stuff that hooks on to the top of the crab pot. So you got one in each corner. And basically, th what this is gonna do is you're gonna make sure that when you're pulling up the crab, the crab pot, 
it comes up flat, it doesn't come up sideways, and all the crabs will fall out. So put one in each corner, like so. Alright, that's it with like that. Now we can get out our rope. Crash, crash. Throw that out. Okay, and then here's our leaded rope. So we're going to hook up one side to this cradle here. We'll do that first. Basically, you can use any knot that will hold. This is maybe a fancy knot. Uh, all right. Make sure it's not going to slip. And I like to tie one overhand knot at the end just to be sure. Do another one just for fun. All right. So there we go. That's tied on to our crab pot. And then the other end, this is the other way, tied to our buoy. So if you have any special knots to tie this rope to a buoy, let me know, because I don't, I don't think that's going to slip, so we should be good to go on that. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Like I said earlier, it's pretty quick and easy. And uh, now you're set up. So you got the crab pot, um, this little cradle, I guess we can call it, the rope attached to that, attached to your leaded rope. Um, I was using before in a few of my previous videos, I was using regular rope. Um, but I ditched that and switched out for leaded rope on uh, all my crab pots because um, when you when you lay your crab pot down and you have your float coming up to the top, you don't want that rope to also be floating on the surface because when boaters are coming by, they could catch that in their prop um, and you'll lose the crab pot, mess up their prop, everything. So actually in Oregon, I believe in Washington, I believe it's the law, you have to use leaded rope. California, I don't think so, so you're not uh, required by law, but it is good to use. Um, just courteous to other fishermen and other crabbers out there. Thanks for whoever commented on my previous videos recommending that and I'll be using that from, from now on. Okay, so you want to make sure you're following all the regulations in California. So currently there's two things that um, I think a lot of people forget and, and you should definitely check before going out. Obviously you should always check the regulations before going out because they're always changing, uh, adding new things, taking stuff away. So Definitely check online before you're going out, especially if you're new to the sport. So um, the first one is you need to create a destruct device. So basically what that means is if your pocket's lost at sea or if uh, your buoy falls off or it gets cut off by a boat and your cage gets stuck out there, all the crabs that are inside there will eventually be able to get out. And the way they do that is you have um, this cotton twine that you put some point part of your crab pot and when that breaks off, eventually it'll corrode from the salt water, um, you need to have an exit way for the crabs to go out. And that, that exit way needs to be at least five inches in diameter. Um, so what I've done on my crab pot is I cut off the, or I didn't cut off, I bent in the corners of this part here on top. And then as you can see here, the diameter is five inches across. Uh, so that complies with the state regulation. And then the second one is you need to have what they call the go ID. Um, and it's a 10 digit number, you can find it on your fishing license um, and you just need to have that on your crab buoy. So I like to just write here, get a good um, sh permanent marker, um, so it's going to be in the salt water so it needs to make sure it's going to be permanent. Um, if I had a bigger one I'd use it but this one will do. So basically you want to put your number here on the white part. I'm just going to write it right here and uh, you want to make nice thick letters. Um, because like I said, it's going to be in salt water, so you don't want it to be falling off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So there's the pot we just put together. And this is the one that I already had. And just a couple extra things that I also like to add um, that don't come in this kit. I'll leave them linked in the description below. One is this bait cage that we put in here. And basically this is where we can put our chicken or fish carcass, whatever bait we're using. And I just zip, that, zip tie that to the cage here. One on this side, one on the other side there, so that it doesn't you know, move around when it's down there at the bottom. And then also this little metal clip here. I'll take this off. And this is just a little clip on, so I'll hang this from the top here. 
and then you can put in any again fish carcass um, this I like to use this one for the fish carcasses so you can just string them on there and they can just hang um, because oftentimes they won't fit in this cage and then I'll fill this with chicken or whatever other bait you're using um, but yeah other than that those are the only other things that I really need to add on other than what comes in our set but uh, there you go we started with uh, a bunch of pieces now we got two working pots we're ready to go catch some crap so basically I'm doing this how-to because uh, I was looking online and I didn't see really much on this uh, topic so that's why I'm doing this one if you guys have any other suggestions for me leave them in the comments below any other how-to's that you want to see uh, coming up because I'm going to be doing more of these how-to videos uh, with the weather like this this fishing's a little slow around here stuff's out of season just not in our area so I'm going to be trying to do a few more how-to videos that's it for now thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time